Suppose you're at your annual physical with your family physician and they've just informed you that you have a condition known as familial hypocholesterolemia. You think to yourself, what's that? Familial hypocholesterolemia is a genetic disorder that inhibits the body's ability to remove low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, more commonly known as LDL, from the blood. As a result, there are increased levels of LDL, or this bad cholesterol, that are accumulating in your bloodstream. High LDL levels are one of the main contributors to coronary disease, myocardial infarction, or a heart attack, and stroke. When LDL accumulates in your blood, it can build up to form plaque in your arteries. This atherosclerotic plaque forms risk of rupturing if it is blocking your arterial blood flow, which can lead to thrombosis, more commonly known as blood clotting. If an individual is experiencing thrombosis, they are at risk for many conditions, such as a heart attack or stroke if the clot is obstructing arterial blood flow to the brain. Until recently, the primary pharmaceutical treatment for lowering your high LDL cholesterol levels has been the daily oral administration of statin pills. Statins are used to reduce this accumulation of high LDL cholesterol in the blood by simply working on reducing the production of cholesterol in the liver itself. In particular, statins block an enzyme known as HMG-CoA reductase, which the liver uses to make cholesterol. Overall, this acts as a more preventative measure against the formation of plaque in your arteries. However, through pharmaceutical advancements, there is now a novel form of treatment known as PCSK9 inhibitors, which is used specifically to treat those who have familial hypocholesterolemia. Unlike statins, the administration of PCSK9 inhibitors involves a subcutaneous injection into the thigh, abdomen, or upper arm once every two weeks or even monthly. As their name suggests, PCSK9 inhibitors involve the inhibition of the PCSK9 protein. PCSK9 normally binds to LDL receptors that are on liver cells, causing them to degrade. As a result, there are less LDL receptors to uptake the LDL in the blood, causing an overall increase in LDL concentration. However, when PCSK9 is inhibited, there is an increase in the number of LDL receptors. This allows for increased uptake and synthesis of LDL into the liver cell, removing it from the blood at a higher rate. Now, you may be asking that if these PCSK9 inhibitors are such a novel treatment, is there any evidence out there that shows that they work? A study conducted in 2017 by Sabatine and colleagues observed a 17% risk reduction of cardiovascular events in patients with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease who were being treated with PCSK9 inhibitors for four years. Over this time period, the researchers observed a reduction in cholesterol levels of about 70 mg per deciliter to a median of 30 mg per deciliter. In particular, PCSK9 inhibitors show promising results in patients with statin intolerances. According to research conducted by Strohs and colleagues in 2014, over a course of 12 weeks, LDL cholesterol levels were reduced in patients by 53-56% to in those taking the PCSK9 inhibitors. In comparison, those taking a statin exhibited a 37-39% to reduction. As well, adverse muscular effects, such as muscle pain, which is commonly seen with statins, were also reduced to 12% in those taking the PCSK9 inhibitors versus the 23% reported in those who were administered the statins. Although there is evidence to suggest the effectiveness of PCSK9 inhibitors, as with any other medication, there are some side effects associated with their use. Primarily, the main side effects include influenza-like illnesses such as muscle pain, primarily back pain, joint pain, and headaches. However, overall, PCSK9 inhibitors have been deemed safe for use in humans as they do not show any major risks. While the risks may not be a deterrent for some people, the price point of the pharmaceutical treatment may be. The company that manufactures one of the PCSK9 inhibitors on the market recently cut down the annual cost of their drug from $14,100 to 
to $5,850. However, even with this 60% reduction, the price is still something to be wary of. Now that I have given you a crash course on managing your cholesterol when you have been diagnosed with familial hypocholesterolemia and have provided you with a novel treatment option known as PCSK9 inhibitors, it's now time for you to speak with your family doctor about what option works best for you and your health plan.